What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to export uh, DWG or AutoCAD files out of your Revit project. And along the way I'm going to be showing you all the tips and tricks on how to make uh, your process uh, fit your needs for exporting these files as well as how to make everything uh, more efficient and just to work quicker. But before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial. It helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. And if you want to download project files that I'm using for this project or some of my or if you want to view some of my advanced courses, I suggest you check out my Patreon first link in the description. Okay, so let's, let's get started. Here I have this project that I usually use for demonstration purposes. And here we have this is just a 3D view. Now for exporting out of Revit, you can either export 3D views, you can go to your floor plans or some other 2D views, you can export 2D views, or alternatively, you can complete a sheet in Revit and then just export that sheet into uh, DWG format or into AutoCAD format. It doesn't really matter which type of uh, view you have, uh, you can export all of them. Now the difference between 2D views and 3D views, if you go in a 3D view like this and you export this 3D view, it's actually going to be 3D in AutoCAD and you can actually make changes in a 3D. Now let's see how do you set up uh, this export from uh, Revit into AutoCAD. Now for exporting any view, if you just want to export one view, I just suggest you go into that current view, open it up, and then you go here to File, you go to Export, you find CAD Formats, and here you've got DWG. Now you select that, and here as you can see we've got this uh, DWG export dialog, and here we have uh, that preview of uh, the view in which we were at. And here you have an option to choose, are you going to export the view that you're currently in? In this case, that's this 3D view, or if you want to choose maybe some other view, or uh, maybe you want to make additional views. And for that, you just go here to in season, you sheet set, and here you can create a new set. So you create a set of views that you want to export, and then you can export those views. So if you're working on some project where you have to, maybe, I don't know, you're making changes to your, uh, to your projects and then you're exporting to DWG and then you're sending that to your client or maybe some consultant or some somewhat like that that opens only uh, DWG files, they don't have Revit, uh, you can create a set and then every time you have a new revision, a new modification, you can just use that uh, set. So you can call it, I don't know, set one. And then you go over here and let's check this 3D view, that's the one we're in. Let's check some floor plan, maybe the lower level. Yeah, let's go with lower level and maybe with a, a section. Let's say they need a section. Okay, so we want to export these three views. So we have our new set of views and here it says set one and you can of course create multiple sets. Maybe you have one set for your consultant, one for your client and one set for, I don't know, some MEP engineer. Now, before we go continue exporting these three views, uh, you have some multiple options. So here you have these select export setup. So what does that mean? Well, you have an option to uh, set up your export settings. So you go over here and as you can see, you only have this uh, like basic default setup. But if you go to this button that has three dots, you can actually modify the export setup. Now, when you go over here, uh, you're going to uh, have these tabs. Now, when we're at the Layers tab, you're going to notice that we have these categories and it looks very similar to the, those uh, VG or Visibility Graphics dialog in Revit. So you have all of your categories over here and then next to your categories, you have some, uh, some graphic settings. In this case, uh, you have settings for projection and that's for layer and color. And here we have uh, settings for cut. And of course we have layer and color and layer modifiers, but that's not important right now. Now for these layers, uh, this is usually when you're working, let's say with a company that, uh, let's say you're exporting these uh, files from um, uh, Revit into DWG or into AutoCAD files because your company is working with a secondary company that does only work in AutoCAD. So let's say you have an architectural firm and you have an MEP firm that only works in AutoCAD. So you would like to export your uh, your files from uh, Revit into AutoCAD, and they usually have some uh, basic 
some basic uh, layering system and you can use that you can ask them what's their layering system and you can go ahead over here and change these uh, layers over here so you can go ahead and rename maybe for MEP you want this to be called P pipe or maybe you have you want to call it something else maybe they put I don't know number two in front of this or something like that so you can make changes to these names of layers uh, you can pretty much change anything and one really important thing if you're going to be modifying uh, these DWG or AutoCAD files later on is to go here to solids and here for solids uh, you have an option for polymesh or ACIS solids now if you have an experience in exporting from uh, Revit into AutoCAD you probably know that uh, those uh, DWG files are very heavy they're hard to work with uh, you're getting constant bugs from AutoCAD and the reason uh, usually is because this is set to polymesh and not this ACIS uh, solid uh, style of mesh I don't <laughs> honestly know what the difference is but for some reason it works a lot better and uh, the drawings are a lot easier to modify when it's set to this solid mesh so just keep that in mind and you can also set the, the units the patterns the lines you can play around with these settings if that's something uh, you want uh, but the most important thing is to set up all of your layers you can here set up the layer colors it's just using the the regular uh, naming convention that AutoCAD uses so you can uh, just go ahead and look at that and then use those numbers to uh, change these colors over here but when you're happy with your setup uh, you can also create here a new export setup so you can call it I don't know setup for MEP and then say OK and now you made some changes and you just click OK and here for your uh, select export setup it's going to say that it's set up for MEP and now you can go ahead and export now here you can go next and here now we just need to save these files and uh, here we can uh, select the naming convention now it can be just uh, automatic short which is just going to give you the name of the view or it can be the long form which is going to give you the the whole name of the project now for this one let's just go with short and for the file type you can select which file type you want to use I uh, suggest you go with the earliest version uh, that's on offer and in this case that's AutoCAD 2010 the reason for that is just because not everybody has the latest version uh, in in Revit it's usually a good uh, convention to just update versions every year when the new one comes out in AutoCAD a lot of firms just bought AutoCAD like in 2004 and they never bothered to update their system so they they're using earlier versions so I just suggest you go go ahead and save as an earlier version so I'm just going to choose AutoCAD 2010 over here and here you have an option to export views on sheets and links as external references now uh, what does this mean basically when you want to export uh, completed title blocks uh, what uh, Revit does is it exports one view that's uh, only the title block and another view that's the actual uh, floor plan or the, the actual view that's on that title block that's placed on that title block and if you have multiple views on one title block it's going to export multiple additional uh, AutoCAD files and then it's going to link those files up with your title block now I suggest you uncheck that it's just going to merge all the, those files so if you if you're just exporting one title block with a few views it's just going to be one uh, one file uh, and if it, if this is checked on it's just going to give you multiple files for each view on that sheet and it just creates a bit of a mess so I don't like that so I just keep this unchecked and then you just go over here click OK and now it's exporting now if you're exporting multiple files it's going to take of course longer if you're exporting just one it's going to be real quick so now I can minimize this and here as you can see I've got a bunch of these views we've got these uh, backup files but uh, that's not really important so let's open up the 3d one first let's see what that looks like and here as you can see AutoCAD is starting up let's just give it a second okay so we have some yeah they're noticing that it's uh, not an Autodesk uh, student version let's just hit open here okay here we go and here's that 3d view so as you can see it saved it as a 3d view so if I just hold the shift key and uh, the scroll wheel I can orbit around and if you want to view this in maybe a better 
way, you can go over here and change the visual st style. Now, if you don't have the same menu, uh, when you download AutoCAD, it's probably in drafting and annotation, but as you saw over there, you just uh, go all over here in the bottom right corner, you find this uh, kind of a set setup wheel and you open up the drop menu and you can go to 3D basics or advanced modeling and you just find your layers and view uh, tab here on the on the home tab you find the layers and view panel and you find this visual style and I'm just going to go maybe with conceptual and there you go you're going to get this or maybe shades of gray it looks a bit better so as you can see now it can orbit around play around and yeah it's an actual 3D view and if you go here, it's grouped under uh, families. So anything that's a separate family, it's separate here. So as you can see, the window is one family. Uh, this table is another. Here we have a chair. Let's select that chair. Yeah, as you can see, you can play around with it. Uh, you can actually make modifications in AutoCAD. So maybe place it there. So there you go. If I hit escape. Okay. So as you can see, uh, you, you can export full 3D views or Let's minimize this for a second. Let's go with this floor plan view. Okay, let's open that up and here we go. Yeah, there you go. So we've got uh, just our regular AutoCAD view and here are those meshes. And now as, as you can see, it exported them as a, a good type of a mesh. And uh, the same thing uh, applies as in 3D view. You can just play around here and some of these things uh, as you can see, these are okay. These are meshes, uh, but some of these elements they are grouped. But of course, you can ungroup them or explode them. So just go, explode, hit enter, and as you can see now, these are separate lines. So you can do that pretty much for everything. Just go explode. There you go. And now these are all individual circles. Okay, so yeah, that's how you can then uh, continue on in uh, in AutoCAD and just continue making additional changes if you so choose to. Okay, so that's pretty much it for uh, this tutorial on how to export uh, DWG or AutoCAD files out of Revit. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. And if you want to download these project files, check out my Patreon, first link in the description. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, and I'll be coming with another Revit tutorial in a few days. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.